Hello again. I'm ready for another story. Today we have So Much by Trish Cook and it's been illustrated by Helen Oxenbury. Okay, let's see what this story is about. So Much. They weren't doing anything, Mum and the baby. Nothing, really. Then, ding dong! Ooh! Mum looked at the door. The baby looked at Mum. It was... Auntie! Auntie Biba! Auntie Biba came inside with her arms out, wide, 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 and one big, big smile. Ooh, she said, I want to squeeze him. I want to squeeze the baby. I want to squeeze him so much. She's going to give him a big hug. And she sat the baby on her knee to play clap, clap, stamp your foot. And then she read him a book. Mm, mm, mm. They weren't doing anything, Mom and the baby and Auntie Biba. Nothing really. Then, ding dong, hello, hello. Mum looked at the door. Auntie Biba looked at the baby. The baby looked at Mum. It was... Uncle! Uncle Dee Dee! Uncle Dee Dee came inside with his eyebrows raised high, 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 and his lips scrunch up small, small, small. Hello, hello, he said. I want to kiss him. I want to kiss the baby. I want to kiss him so much. And he put the baby on his shoulders and it felt shaky, shaky. He flip flap him over till he nearly drop him. Hey! Oh, he nearly fell on the floor. They weren't doing anything, Mum and the baby and Auntie Biba and Uncle Dee Dee. Nothing really. Then, ding dong, yoo-hoo, yoo-hoo. Mum looked at the door. Uncle Dee Dee looked at Auntie Biba. Auntie Biba looked at the baby. And the baby looked at Mum. It was... Nanny! Nanny and Gran Gran! Nanny and Gran Gran came inside with their handbags cock up to one side and their umbrella hook up on their sleeve. Yoo-hoo! Yoo-hoo! They said. I want to eat him! I want to eat the baby! I want to eat him so much! And they hug him and they love him and they make him feel so cosy, singing songs and dancing till it was time for sleeping. They weren't doing anything, Mom and the baby and Auntie Biba and Uncle Dee Dee and Nanny and Gran Gran. Nothing really. Then, ding dong! Hey, pow pow! Mum looked at the door. Nanny looked at Gran Gran. Gran Gran looked at Uncle Dee Dee. Uncle Dee Dee looked at Auntie Biba. Auntie Biba looked at the baby. It was... Cousin! Cousin KK! And big cousin Ross. Cousin KK came inside and he spin up his hat round and round. And he do like he riding horsey. Giddy up! Giddy up! Hey, pow pow, he said. I want to fight him. I want to fight the baby. I want to fight him so much. And they wrestle and they wrestle. He pushed the baby first. The baby hit him back. He give the baby pinch. The baby give him slap. And then they laugh and they laugh and laugh. <laughs> and the house was full, full, full. And they sit down there waiting for the next ding dong. They wait and they wait. But it never comes. Mum said, is everybody all right? And the baby and cousins start to fight again. Nanny and Gran Gran take out cards and dominoes. Uncle Dee Dee start to slap them down on the table. And Auntie Biba plays some records really loud. Mum said, what craziness all around. They weren't doing anything. Mum and the baby and Auntie Biba and Uncle Dee Dee and Nanny and Gran Gran and Cousin Kiki. Nothing really. Then, ding dong, I'm home. And everybody stopped. Mum picked the baby up and they all wait by the door. 
Surprise, everybody said. And Mum said, happy birthday, Daddy. And everybody joined in. Oh, she gave him a kiss. He's a bit embarrassed. Then Daddy rubbed the baby face against the whiskers on his chin. And Mum brought in the food that she'd been cooking. And they had a party. Look, everybody's dancing. They got drinks. Look, the cousins, they've got ice lollies. He's got a chalk ice. Ah. <gasps> Having a good time. Everybody enjoyed the party. And when it was time for them to go, and everybody tired, the baby wanted to play some more. Mum said, no. She put him to bed. He doesn't want to go to bed. Bye-bye. Good night. The baby played bounce bounce with Ted. Played bounce bounce in his crib. And he remembered everybody saying how they wanted to squeeze and kiss and eat and fight him. Because they loved him so much. Shh. the end of the story. See you next time.